Agnieszka. You Americans, you are crazy. You think you must sell everything. That's all you care about. Uh, capitalist. Oh, come on, Max. We've been through this a million times. How many times do I have to tell you? It's different in America. In America, if it isn't commercial, it isn't seen. If it isn't seen, it isn't sold. If it isn't sold, it isn't art. Art is art without any of that. Listen to me. I worked for four months on this music. Songs that will change lives of millions of Soviet people, right. and your people too. And you come to me, and you want to write a great show in two days. No, Crazy. no, 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 Max, not two days. 48 hours straight. There's a difference. Time is money. Speaking of money, since you have so much, why don't you use some of your money to buy a nice coat? This is a nice coat. It's Soviet style. It's not style. It's Stalin. Oh, sorry. Because you are in Russia all the time, you Americans, because you must fly to Disneyland. No, not Disneyland, Max. New York. New York. You waste money on what? On what? On getting money from producers, that's what. You waste on what? On what? On making you famous in the West. Let us begin. When you're freezing in the winter. The first song, right? And you're hungry as a dog. When you finish all the vodka. And fire needs log. Your music you must go and sell. But till you cry, go to hell. All money is just money. But art is art. It's a good beat, Max. Yeah. It's a little bit different in America. Let me tell you how it would go there. Oh, when your wife is up and left you, and the judge says you must pay, when the nightclub where you're singing, Says it's closing down today to get yourself out of a jam. You wind up singing telegrams. Cause money is money. And art is just art. That's all you Americans think of. Yankee, Yankee, Yankee. Uh, until all art inside you is dead. Okay, you wanna fight? Fine. And you socialists, all you think about is your principles why your people are starved to death. In Soviet Union, all When you finally get your visa to travel to the West. And they want 5,000 rubles, Nadieva, Aeroflot desk. You have to sell your work or home your cause to stay. Yet! Oh. I cannot do it. Serious? I cannot do it. Oh. I'd rather be.
Codex for a cup of coffee. Konieczna. about fashion as the perfect vehicle for a show. You're talking about theater. It's the same thing. Why not put the two together, fashion, theater? But I also think music is important. Okay, have it your way, Max. Musical fashion theater. Ah, sounds bourgeois. Well, let's just say social bourgeois. But trust me, here in the Soviet Union, we gather women from all over the country, the most beautiful women in the world, to become part of an elite group of the uh, Firebirds. Jean Petit, like Stravinsky, Yann Bu. I thought you would. Max, play. We need a central theme, a theme for the girls, uh, the runway theme. Something like runway, runway. There up in the light. Runway, runway. Me. Give me 
your name, Max? Marina. Marina. Marina Manikinski. Oh, I like it. Marina Manikinski from some some little out of the way town in nowhere, USSR. Grodna. Grodna. Da. Sounds awful. It's a pravda. Okay, I like it. Little old Marina Manikinski from little old Grodna, nowhere, USSR. So, what's her story? Oh, Marina. Marina was tall as a child. Very tall. In fact, too tall. That's why she liked basketball. You like it, Max? Ah, yeah, you blue. But what is her problem? Well, Max, that's simple. <laughs> she hates life in Brodna and wants to get out. She Impossible. dreams. She Impossible. dreams of life far away in Motsko. Motsko? Motsko. What is this? Moda, Max. Moda. Moscow. Moscow. Oh, I like it. I like it. Okay, so we have to get her out of Grodna and into Moscow. Simple. Marina soon reached the age of decision when she had to decide what she wanted to be. She had to choose between basketball and fashion. So, naturally, she chose fashion. A chance to travel, to see the world. But it wasn't quite that easy. Marina had to find a way to get out of Grodna. So one day, the fashion fairy godmother comes to her with a vision of her future in her dream and tells her, in essence, to pack her bags and take the long train ride to is Ocean Seriosna.
situation. Her mind is blown. It's the first fashion show she's ever seen. But it's only just beginning, Marina. Wait till she takes a look at Soviet avant-garde.
we need is the plot. Oh! But when we get to this spot for plot, it's very important the next scene, ah? Huh? The? Musica Bajasta! Scene number three. Marina thinks her mind has been blown, but now, the very godmother brings an Italian net problema with a special note inviting her backstage and into the world of Soviet fashion.
Natalia niet problemen wat brings Marina backstage to meet girls for the first time. Oh, please, she is nightmare. No hair, no makeup, no Nietzsche vol. Oh, don't worry, girls, girls. Problem is basic. Bad makeup. Or in this case, no makeup. Don't worry, darling. Me, it's a beauty violation for all these streets. Estee Lauder would love you. Makeup is exercise that teaches you respect. With all the colors that you have, your equipment is just to paint. Can be featured till it's covered up and hidden well from view. Funny my it's Stevichka. Yes. I think I'd better show her what these violators do. It's horrible sight, but someone must teach her.
we're doing great. Great. What great? Silly girl comes to silly city, no. meets other silly girls. No. What? What does it mean? Max, it's a fairy tale. Where's your sense of humor? It died with the revolution. Oh, come on. You Americans are so naive. Listen, there's no meat on bones of story. Where is love? Love. Where is pain? pain. Where is serious meaning? Siri, you're right, Max. You're right. We need love. But it must be complex. She must have husband. She must have lovers, like life. Like Soviet life. <laughs> Okay, Max, we're in agreement. She needs love, so let's say she meets a real Russian aristocrat, right? Da. Tall, dark, and handsome. Da. Uh, name, Max, name. Tarzan! No, oh, Max, it's too American. How about, um, Zarzan? Zarzan, Zarzan. Zarzan Perestroika! And he falls in love with Marina, right? Yet, 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 yet. Too easy. He must fall in love with this Morgan girl. Oh, Debbie, the American. Tata, you see, he wants to leave country and live, lead life of Rambo. Perfect, Max. Okay. So, uh, he meets her for the first time at the model's gymnasium. Marina just falls in love immediately. Zarzan Perestroikovich. Zarzan, what a guy. Zarzan enters. He's a happy guy, full of personality. You see, Zarzan is Perestroika. Just look at his clothes. He's got a Reebok. He's got 501s. He's got a shoulder bag. <laughs> Baseball cap. He flirts with all the girls. They love him. All the guys hate him, but of course, Zarzan doesn't seem to notice. I love this place. They all turn and look at him with blank faces. Debbie notices him right away as he's changing into his sports gear. I look good in American sport clothes, yeah? <laughs> it's love at first sight, each with themselves. You're American, babe, yeah? Debbie blushes and plays baby doll. American lighter, Dallas Cowboys, please. So, they go into their sport workout, but remember it's models, so don't expect too much sweat.
cake in the next square. <laughs> Don't you think it's a little serious for a fairy tale? Not a Russian fairy tale. Oh, come on, Max, something simple. Play, it's Zarzan's love song, something like love. I can't believe my eyes. Oh, love. I thought I was so wise. Then you.
the wrong dress.
depths of despair, and on comes Zars, and it's their relationship. He rescues her, he throws her over his shoulder, he carries her to sea. It's a fairy tale, da. Da, it's a fairy tale. Come on, Max. <laughs> By the way, uh, it's freezing in here, have you noticed? So, no. Yeah, we have a thing for this in America, it's called heat. Yes, Nile, yes, Nile. 
the girls take the new girl, Marina Manikinsky, and teach her to become great model as joke, to get even with Zarin Sugar like for it. evil ways. I like it. There will be big competition. No, no, better yet. They will take her on tour. Julia Uryuk's husband is director. And she will use charm to have him include Marina on tour, and they will make her great. Right, and she becomes model extraordinaire. Mono Modelli. Ah. Right? Now one question, Max. If Zarin Suka is the best model, nah. why is she not going on tour? Easy. We will leave this to Almata. Great. The audition. Girls come from all over the Soviet Union. 3,000 are eliminated. It's down to the final 50, of which 20 will be chosen for the tour. They're all there. Zia Zamirova, Tatarina Kievskaya, Alexandra Dovotoduska, Renata Ritmiov, of course. And of course, Ulya Kuriuk. Marina enters with Natalia Nyakov Nemova. And just as they're about to sign in, in comes the Zarin Suka. Zarin Suka. Today she's in a very bad mood. And when the girls kiss this time, she changes her mood. In fact, this time she has a whip. She, how about this? She goes after the girls. She starts smashing them back like savage beasts. She's beating them. Zia Zamirva pulls a knife. She shoots them with the gun. From that with the old, she's dead. My God, they're all dead. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Believe me, it is too much, even for Russian fairy tales. You're right. Dejki, he shoots. Zarin Suka, pissed as usual. The girls hiss, but remember, she doesn't care. Dobry bien, kaka zavu? You know you. Uliya, how tall are you? Uh, you can see me. Right, and your age, please. Uh, 24. 24, спасибо. <laughs>
I have a surprise for you. What? New song. No, 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 Mac. No, 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 See you in an hour. Нет, 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 no, you see, he's going to drink vodka. I know these Americans. Итак, это правда, что я слышу. Американские не умеют пить русскую vodka, да? I will sing song anyway. It is like prayer to Gorbachev to give Marina possibility to work in West.
I hope to hear from you very soon, Mr. Gorbachev. Ah. So, now Marina begins the big tour. You know why she go on big tour? Because in Moscow, there will be great competition. They will crown model of decade with a award. And she wants more than anything to be great. So now we start the tour to train Marina Malikinsky. First stop, Uzbekistan!
woman until I married her. Yanni Pony Mayo. I don't know what happened. Yanni Pony Mayo. Believe me, I was great. Me, the great Max. Can you imagine? My wife runs away from me, the great Max. Runs away with man who sells Uryuk. <laughs> Tell me, my Druk, would you do this to me? <laughs> I'll never leave you, Max. Why? What is so funny? This is my tragedy. That's it, don't you see? That's it. Uh, Zar Zen must lose Debbie. She must leave him. But how? What do you mean, how? Think of something. Uh, I don't know. Let's just kill her. No, that won't do. How about uh, something less serious, Max? Maybe she just gets pregnant. This is reason to leave. That's true. Come on, think, think. We gotta have something. Uh, I'm how thinking, I'm thinking. Uh, how about this? How about a scandal? In Soviet Union, it's a normal. No, <laughs> a Bolshoi scandal. How about uh, her parents, the diplomats, are involved in a diplomatic scandal. They're found out to be members of the CIA. He sure as normal. No, it's not normal. Don't you see? Debbie must leave. She has 48 hours to pack and track. She's escorted by two border guards, and she enters. All alone, it's Debbie and Zarzan for one final moment together. She's depressed. She puts down her suitcase and goes to Zarzan for one final kiss. Then, to give him something to remember her by, she goes to her suitcase. Something to remember America by. So naturally, she leaves him the only thing he understands. Her videotapes. And with that, Debbie Morgan bids a fond farewell to Russia and her foreign affair. America, you're breaking my heart. And with that, Zarzan is left for Marina. Debbie ah. gone. He finds a pair of shoes on the black market. He buys them 500 rubles cheap. He gives them to Debbie, to Marina. She puts the shoes on. She's alone in the mirrors. She finally discovers Mona Modelli. You can show 
and welcome to Model of Decade Award. <laughs> Tonight, Moscow and the rest of the world is waiting for big results of our final competition. Girls from over 15 republics, over 3,000 Divichki, have come to Moscow to try for big crown. But we have many prizes for winner, including new refrigerator, combination western washer dryer, a carton of Marlboro cigarettes for every day of the year, paid trip for two to America. But before we meet our five finalists, let us take one last look at all the losers.
How many bricks in the Kremlin wall? Sorry, you lose our new model of the decade, Miss Mona Modelli. And with that, Zarzan moves in for the kill with the crown. The two lovers are left alone in their fame and their glory and their evidence to America. Max, I told you, time is money. And let's just say, in the Soviet Union now, under perestroika, everything is impossible and possible. I don't know if this is good for us or bad for us. <laughs> let's just say, no. Oh, very well, then. Max, I gotta go. Show beds of our waits. No, 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 wait, wait. Before you go, I have a new song. Oh, come on, Max, not another song. No, 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 it, it's not for the show. It is song from me to you, to remember by. Who uh, else? We've come far together. We've more than just dared. We've shared our emotions. No feelings were spared. From being together, new words I can say. I love you, my friend. Wish you could stay, for I never thought that feelings could come from some place deep inside of me. And I never knew that when we were done, I would have a friend who's so close to me. Wait, now, now here are words for you to sing. My words? Yeah. No, my words, but sing. I know this. The story has ended, and yet just begun. We fought with our hearts, and together we won. From being together, no words I can say. I not only love you, I'm never.
thank you very much for being here tonight. And we mean this from our hearts, because tonight is a very special night. It's tradition in the theater on Broadway to have a speech on closing night, but we consider this opening night. This is Christmas season in America, as well as here in the Soviet Union. Millions of people in America are sitting with their families today, and we three Americans are here in your country, glad to be here. We can't think of any place we'd rather be than on this stage giving to you. Thank you so much for coming. This project, the work of Maxim Donievsky, Honitan Vitevsky, Igor Radoff, Roxana Celis Corbett, Oh, Marina Sajova, Tommy Breslin, Michael Owen, Jan Strimple, Vadim Sokolov, Rima Belgin. There are so many people that you have no idea. But we would like to thank one person in particular, the person who made all of this possible for all of us. We've known it from the beginning, and tonight you've proven it to us. We would like to thank God for a miracle of bringing creativity together and making people understand each other through culture and art. This stop is the first stop on this tour of runway. From here we go to Leningrad, several other Soviet cities, and then return to Moscow. And not only has Broadway come to Moscow, but in the spring, Moscow goes to Broadway with the first Soviet American musical. We'd like you to tell all of your friends about us. Hopefully, when we come back, we can meet some more of you. Thank you again, and Slovom Goro. Thank you.